50 years ago today, two Americans fulfilled an audacious promise made in 1961 by President Kennedy, landing a fragile spacecraft called Eagle on Earth's closest celestial neighbor. And today, 50 years later, a multinational trio of space explorers is poised to launch on their own spacecraft to a city in the sky to continue the dream of human exploration of the heavens. Good day from the International Space Station Flight Control Room at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, just one floor below the historic Mission Operations Control Room, where the epic landing of Apollo 11 occurred 50 years ago today. You are looking live at Launch Site 1, Yuri Gagarin's launch pad at the Baikonur Cosmodrome, where human spaceflight began more than 58 years ago. The uh, second umbilical now retracting, initiating auto sequence start. We have main engine ignition, engines and turbo pumps up to flight speed. Five, four, three, two, one. Engine turbo pump and flight. And liftoff. 50 years after a small step for man, the Soyuz rocket and its multinational crew take a giant leap off the launch pad bound for the International Space Station. Good first stage performance. The Soyuz delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust from its four boosters and single engine. The nighttime sky is creating a halo-like effect as the Soyuz arcs to the northeast away from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in pursuit of the International Space Station. Forty seconds. The spacecraft, the vehicle, are nominal and they're stable. Copy. Good reports from the blockhouse in Baikonur, punching a hole through the clouds overhead. Good engine performance being reported. 60 seconds in, yaw beach roll are nominal. Copy. One minute, 10 seconds into the flight. Alexander Skvortsov reports the crew is feeling well. Now going through the period of maximum dynamic pressure, leaving a contrail. The Soyuz traveling almost 3,000 miles an hour, 15 miles in altitude, 10 miles downrange from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. One minute, 45 seconds after launch. All uh, structural parameters reported to be in excellent shape. A good view inside uh, MS-13. Alexander Skvortsov at the bottom of your screen, at the top of your screen, Luca Parmitano as we stand by for first stage separation. Yes, the jettison is confirmed. First stage separation confirmed. Third stage separation is confirmed, affirmative. The vehicle is stable. Copy. The Soyuz now traveling uh, 4,500 miles an hour, 29 miles in altitude, 29 miles downrange from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Two and a half minutes into the flight, all structural parameters reported to be in excellent shape. Second stage uh, performance uh, reported nominal. The launch shroud has now been jettisoned, and now we're seeing a view from a camera on the second stage of the uh, Soyuz rocket. We will no longer see in-cabin views. Uh, second stage separation is confirmed. And you see uh, the aft skirt uh, from the uh, second stage separating. Second stage separation is complete, uh, continuing to uh, receive downlink video from the Soyuz booster at the five minute, 15 second mark into the flight. Three and a half minutes of powered flight remaining. The Soyuz being powered on the uh, singular uh, capability of its third stage engine. All parameters are reported in excellent shape. Everything is nominal on the board, we are feeling well. 
We are standing by for KO, and everything is nominal on board. And we have third stage shutdown and separation. Third stage separation is confirmed. Congratulations on the nominal orbital insertion. Mission Control Moscow is here. Vyacheslav is here. Congratulations again. Copy all. Thank you very much. And you can see uh, the Soyuz solar arrays beginning to unfurl as planned. Mission Control Moscow, how copy? Loud and clear, how us? Loud and clear as well. And we have confirmation of a perfect solar array deploy. All navigational antennas have also been deployed. A textbook launch for Soyuz MS-13, three new space explorers en route to the International Space Station, 50 years to the day that Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed on the moon.